Hi, my name is Julie Faithann Balzer, and today I'm going to show you my tips for cutting really thin papers with your Scan and Cut. You know, the thing is, I often get asked about heavy items that the Scan and Cut can cut, but the Scan and Cut actually does a great job with lots of your favorite thin items that are perfect for collage. So, for instance, this is painted deli paper. Um, I have a book page here. I have an old dress pattern or tissue paper or tracing paper or anything like that. But there are a couple things that really help you. So the first is um, you probably have gotten some paper stuck to a mat. So it's really important when you're using the thinner papers that you want to make sure you're using your low tack mat. That's your mat that really is not very strong adhesive and that way you're not going to rip your papers. The other option is if you have an old mat that you've used a million times and it's lost some of its stick, it's perfect for these papers. However, there is one exception. Some thin papers like deli paper have a waxy finish. And what I found is if it has a waxy finish, I actually want to use more like a middle tack mat, okay? Because that's going to hold it a little bit more. And as you know, the key to cutting is always holding it. The next thing I want to talk about, of course, is blade depth. Blade depth is really important, and I always do a test cut, and I tend to start pretty low, maybe even at like at a one, just to make sure that these papers are going to cut beautifully, okay? And with that said, why don't we cut something out of our thin paper? Because the low tack mat is so low adhesive, you can see that this dress pattern just comes right off the mat without tearing. So I used a blade depth of a one for the tissue, and I used a two for the book page, and a three for the deli paper. But of course, you should do a test cut and see what your machine does. But it is easy to cut thin papers. Just use a test cut and the right mat. Thanks so much. And for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at ballsdesigns.typepad.com. And of course, the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.